Hi, I'm Alex Suarez. And I'm Ryland. We're two members of Cobra Starship. And here we are in our back lounge. You're watching us on Fender Vision. We went out this summer, right, Ryland? Yep. A really cool tour we did with Fall Out Boy. And then uh, had a couple weeks off. Uh, got to finish our album, which came out August 11th, called Hot Mess. And, uh, and got to we, go overseas uh, a little bit. Yeah, and we did the VMAs. We did the, v the Latin VMAs and the American VMAs. Yep, two nominations, no wins. Yep. That's okay. Nominations are a form of winning. Yes, happy to be there. Yep. And happy to borrow nice clothes. And uh, yeah, then we, um, yeah, Latin VMAs were really fun. Paulina Rubio. That was right before that, actually, we were in Europe doing a, a little press run. Yep, promo tour, France, Germany, England. And, uh, and actually, we did you, our video right when we got back. You did. You know, it was really, I think, what was your favorite part about the trip in Europe? I think we can agree on the same thing. Uh, meeting Paul McCartney in yes. Paris. No big deal. It no big super deal. Awesome. It was like, we were screaming in each other's faces, like slapping each other, we just, were slapping just to each like other in the cab on the way just back. to so just to bring each other back to reality. Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> then and we then, came out on this tour. Then we came out on this tour, and now we're here doing this. We met him at his daughter's after party. Stella McCartney. She has a fashion line, I guess. And uh, it was her after party for the show. We were it just happened to be in Paris, and Victoria's friend Carly works for Stella McCartney, so they got us on the list, and we were there. And Victoria's family has history with the McCartneys, and so she was like, Paul's over there, maybe I should go and say what's up, do you want to come with me? And I had one or two drinks, so I was like, not super nervous, I was like, G -g go say what's up to him, yeah, sure, yeah, 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 of course, yeah, he's just Paul McCartney, no big deal, just like, my idol. And then we walk over there, and he had been dancing, he had his like suit jacket on, and he took it off, was swinging it around, throwing it, it was like dancing to like disco and stuff. And I was like, I just met him. He's like, Hey, how are you? How you doing? And I was like, Yeah, nice dancing out there. I'm really impressed by that. He's like, Well, I've got to, you know, I've got to groove, I've got to dance, you know. If I'm feeling it, I've got to do it, man. And I was like, Yeah, I get, guess you're right, you know, I got to do it too. Yeah, we, we, we played a show with Girl Talk in Indiana University, and the, but in order for us to do it there, this for the schedule to work, because we were in, I think, Idaho. Yes. And we had to get to Indiana, and then we had to be in San Francisco the next day, and they're like, the only way we can make this work is if you take a private jet. Is that yeah, okay? So Victoria's Secret we're flew like, us out on a private jet. Uh, it was crazy. Yeah, we're okay with that. We flew a private jet to go play a Victoria's Secret party at a college campus. Yeah. That never happens. The bus drove onto the tarmac right next to the plane. We hopped off the bus, hopped onto the plane, got wasted, flew to Indiana University, got off, a Hummer zine picked us up. On the tarmac. On the tarmac, brought us to the show, played the show, got back in a car, back to the tarmac, into the plane, plane lands in San Francisco, bus is there waiting for us and we get in. And this On the is tarmac. All within yeah. 24 hours. Yes. It was crazy. It was I awesome. got nervous. To be honest, the first, I was a little nervous on the, on the, way the there. first flight. I got a little nervous because it's small. It's seats twelve. I just felt like such an old, like a just like a sweet old rich dude that I was just drinking scotch the whole time. Yeah, like was scotch, scotch on the rocks. Smoky, smoky scotch. It was very smoky. Yeah, it was good. I and tasted like I had been smoking meat all day at a barbecue joint. I smelled like hickory mesquite. Yeah, like, totally. by the end of it. Yeah, and um, and it was a awesome experience. But everybody there, like the the people on the jet, just assumed that we'd done that, but done this before. Yeah. And we were just like, Ugh. we're all like taking photos of it on our phones. It was awesome. Yeah. Life is pretty. That sweet. is like a yeah, huge bonus. That was sweet. Yeah. Scary, but sweet. Probably one of the coolest things we've ever done. And ever will. Yes. Meeting Paul McCartney and taking a private jet in the same month. Yep. So let me see. At the VMAs in New York, uh, Gabe and Pete Wentz um, introduced Lady Gaga together, and Pete was wearing a T-shirt that had Gabe's phone number and email address on it, and he actually didn't reveal it then but somebody who worked at the plant that made the shirt put the picture of the shirt online and then all of Gabe's information leaked. So he had to change his phone number and all this stuff. It's a huge pain in the butt for him. So then, uh, when we were at the Latin American VMAs, uh, uh, Pete was like, hey Gabe, why don't you come up and like translate you know, all my stuff that I say in between songs into Spanish for everybody. I think it'd be really funny. So Gabe went up there and Pete had no idea, but Gabe was actually revealing Pete's email address in Spanish and Pete was just thought he was just saying what he was saying in Spanish, which is really funny. But yesterday, we were in Los Angeles playing at Club Nokia, and Pete got a tattoo of Gabe Supporter's face when he was, what, 13? Seven. Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Seven, seven, yeah, seventh grade. But the backstory is that Pete promised uh, that if we got went to number one on iTunes, that he would get a tattoo of Gabe's choosing. Yeah. Uh, and we went number one for like under, under, under five minutes. Yeah. 
But hey, it counts. Know, There's a screenshot of it. Rules are rules, and so um, yeah. Last night in LA, we had a tattoo artist come to the dressing room and tattoo a picture of Gabe's face on Pete's leg, and it said, "Gaby baby made me go bad." <laughs> and we got it all on video. Yes, that happened. There it is, actually. Oh, look at that. Here, get a shot of this. Oh my god. Actually, wow. That looks terrible. No, it doesn't. It looks great. No, it just doesn't look like him. That is the tattoo right there. Gaby baby made me go bad. Double shocked. Yeah, I think we're still really shocked at um, how well the single has been doing. Yeah, went platinum, which went is platinum, incredible. Which is first for us. The, the only first and probably last thing that I'll ever have to do that has anything to do with a million anything. Yeah. Which is crazy, I can't believe that we saw The sold. number one million, yeah. Yeah. But nothing's really changed that much mm -mm. Uh, for us. Like, What'd you do with your plaque? I picked it up and I just rode the train with it. And Were I you showed. embarrassed at all on the train? I was a little... I just kept it facing in. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. I kind of held it like against my body. You saw people on the train though, they're like... What is that? Yeah. yeah what's that? You know, what's they that see guy platinum got? digital sales and you're just like... <laughs> and the number one million like. and you're like, nah. Yeah. That's not me. No. Um, that's, that's been pretty cool though, just that. Very exciting. Tell mom and dad about that is also pretty. That means a lot to them. Yeah. So. Um, what else on the horizon for us? We are probably a lot of touring this year. A lot of touring. Gonna be busy year for us. Yep. Got probably a bunch of radio shows in December. Hopefully, get a little time to spend, uh, you know, relaxing with our families, and then yeah, keep going. Europe, overseas, Australia, Japan, yep. Europe. Yep. Back to the UK. Probably another US tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little hole like at the yeah. end of the cartoon. Yeah, exactly. And a little one pops open and it's like a little whatever little thing happens and it chokes it. Yeah. Alright. Hey, thank you guys for watching Fender Vision. We're we two are... members of Cobra Starship. It's been great. Thanks for having us and we're thankful for having you. To come out, see us on the road with BLG. And later on in the future, wherever and whenever that may be. Happy holidays. Thank you. Bye.